Hey everybody, Donna Schwartz here. You know, last time I spoke on Periscope, I talked about how your lower lip position affects how you play on the saxophone and it would also affect how you play on the clarinet as well. Well, today I wanted to talk about something else. I wanted to talk about how you, something that you wouldn't even think of that could affect your tone quality. And it's actually, it's your jaw. It's the position of your jaw, but it's more importantly, how relaxed your jaw is. Growing up, um, I suffered from TMJ. And TMJ is basically when you have a lot of pain in your jaw, it causes headaches, it causes sharp stabbing pains. For some people, numbness. Uh, it can keep you up at night. It's a real pain in the ass. <laughs> it really is. And it, for some people, it can ruin their playing career. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up today is a couple of people asked me questions about that, but it also, um, I read a couple of posts online and it just reminded me of my own experiences, but also the, one of my earliest students in public school, this really great kid who was a great clarinet player. She was in fifth grade. My school was K to five, great player, one of my best clarinet players, but I didn't find out until later in the year that she was suffering from headaches all the time. And it was determined, her mom sent her to specialists, all this kind of stuff. It was determined that she had TMJ. She had just gotten braces a few months before, and that's when the problem started. And for me, that was the same thing. When I got braces, that's when the problem started for me. Now, disclaimer, it doesn't mean that when you get braces, you're going to get TMJ. That's not the case at all. Um, but in my case, and for this young girl, it happened. So what can TMJ do? Well, it can cause a lot of stress, a lot of tension, give you headaches. And the thing is when you're playing, if any muscle that you're not using in order to play the instrument is tight or causing tension, it's going to affect your tone. It can make your tone thin. It can prevent you from playing long, so it will affect your endurance. It will affect your range low and high, not just high, low and high as well. And um, it can also, again, cause you headaches when you're playing and it's not going to be very pleasant. So TMJ or jaw problems are pretty, are pretty important. It's something that people don't necessarily think about when they're teaching students or even when they're doing their own playing. They may not get that jaw pain right away, but they may be getting headaches and not really realizing why. Two things I wanted to talk about today with regard to that. When you're playing and setting up, you want to check your position and make sure that you're not clenching your jaw. Now for, for, I think, I would think trumpet players and clarinet players who have to have a more firm embouchure and have that firm chin, I could see, and of course from my own experience growing up playing trumpet, I could see how people can get in that thought process of, I've got to clench my jaw and I've got to, you know, really just make this tight or whatever. Um, I can see how that can happen. For a saxophone, it may not happen as much, although I've, I've read stories where this has happened for people. So when you're setting up, as I spoke in my last Periscope and YouTube session, you want to think the word victory, as Tim Price taught me, or the word wolf, or the letter F, or V, and you notice your chin position is just very normal. It's not, it's not tense or anything like that, just very normal, just like that. And it helps you to get the lower notes. And the higher notes as well. The thing is, if your jaw is too tense, and let me try to do this. I'm a little afraid, I'm going to be honest with you, because I had such TMJ problems. Thankfully, they've dissipated a lot for me um, over the last, I don't know, maybe 10 years or so. But um, clenching your jaw... Yeah, actually, I couldn't even get that eye note to come out. Holy cow, um, that was bad. And I wasn't even really cutting off the reed. Yeah, it was just really, there's so much tension there. Um, <laughs> and that kind of hurt. So you want to check yourself and make sure that you're relaxed. And one of the things to think about, and I mentioned this in one of my recent blog posts and with my interview with Tim Price, he spoke about blowing warm air for the saxophone, cool air for the flute. So if you're blowing warm air, you're not tense. And you can check yourself with that. 
And honestly, even if you're blowing cool air, you shouldn't be tense either. So you definitely want to check yourself and make sure that your jaw is nice and relaxed because it will prevent you from the extreme registers, low and high, on any wind instrument. I just happened to have the saxophone because I was just practicing and I was just thinking about um, shooting a quick video for you guys. But this happened to me when I was playing trumpet when I was younger and it happened to this young girl when she was playing clarinet. And um, if you want to find out what happened to her and find out ways to help deal with um, you know TMJ or jaw pain or headaches or anything like that, check out, check out my latest blog post on my site DonnaSchwartzMusic.com and you'll see some, I have some interesting solutions there that people normally don't think about. A lot of times people just pop an Advil or something like that. The pain will go away temporarily, but you're not addressing the root cause of the problem. And the problem is that you may be clenching your jaw when you're playing and you may have made it such a habit that you don't realize it yet. The other thing I wanted to talk about too, with relation to your jaw, and I see this a lot in students and it's, it's hard for me to do, but um, when they're articulating, there's so much jaw movement there and doing that over time, first of all, it's going to, it's going to affect your range. You're going to have a hard time playing high and also playing low too. It's going to affect, um, how fast you can articulate, but what it also can do, think about it. You're, you're actually chewing when you're, when you're tonguing. So all that extra motion can create stress in your jaw. You don't need to do that. So here's a little quick tip that I'd like to show you on video. It's really simple. Just say the word two. When you say the word two and put your, your hand underneath your chin, two, 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 your, your chin's not moving. Even if you have a double chin like mine, that's embarrassing. All right. Anyway, I can lose some weight. <laughs> anyway, here's the thing. If you're, if you are a player or if you have a student and you notice that they're using a lot of motion to tongue, they're moving their jaw too much. Go back to nature and have them think about saying the word two. Say it steadily, two, two, two. Have them look in front of a mirror. Have them put their hand underneath their jaw. Two, 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 two. Or better yet, they're doing it. You gently put your hand underneath their jaw. Two, 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 two. Then make it faster, make it steady. Just do that little trick with them. And then they're going to notice that they don't need to move their jaw up and down when they're playing. Then they just have to transfer that, that thought process and watch themselves in a mirror to make sure that they're not chewing while they're articulating. Because again, that could lead to some jaw problems later on and some tension in your jaw and headaches as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this quick session. I'm trying to make these videos short because my videos tend to be long, but I did want to address that one thing that people don't necessarily think about when it comes to what may be affecting their sound or their tone. So if you like this video, please like it, please share it and uh, spread it amongst your friends. Check out my latest blog post because I talk about how jaw problems could be affecting your tone and I have some interesting solutions there. I also had a radio show recently with Tim Price and he talked about, um, you know, some great things that deal with your tone on woodwinds and on saxophones. So check that out on my website as well, DonnaSchwartzMusic.com. And on that note, thanks for joining me. Take care. Have a great day.